Today's video is sponsored by you, the Room Sixers who have joined the Patreon page or purchased some of my music. Because of you, the videos will get better, and eventually, some cool things will be coming uh, your way. Uh, gen general question to, uh, to, to the band, really to half the band. Half of you have kids, like myself, and I just wanted to know, what do your kids think about dad trying to hold on to his youth? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Room 6, and happy holidays. This is the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. And whatever holiday you celebrate, I hope you have a good one, even if it's no holiday at all. Today's guests have come from many places to call Las Vegas home. They are veteran musicians of the scene, and even though they only have three songs released right now, they are crushing it on Spotify with over 260,000 streams to 26,000 listeners in 81 countries. Please welcome to the show... Words as weapons. Hi guys. Hey. <laughs> um, real quick, I want to get the elephant in the room out of the way. I know you've been through some um, lineup changes, so if you can just go ahead and talk about that real quick. Basically, what's going on, and um, while you're at it, go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell people what you do in the band. Uh, pull and start with instructions. All right, uh, Doug Nelson, um, bass player in this project. Yep. I'm Bobby. I play the guitar, and I'm back with vocals. Hey guys, I'm Stace, uh, lead vocals. I'm RJ, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the drummer. <laughs> Gotta love an alcoholic. <laughs> Speaking of, hey, hey. Uh, it runs in the family. Believe me. Cheers. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so elephant in the room. Um, yes, we have had some. We have had some uh, incredibly major. Changes uh, in the past several months. We uh, so Rob, our our drummer, um, founding member. Yeah, founding member. Uh, we decided to part ways. So we've been on the hunt ever since. Uh, we've auditioned several drummers and have just come to accept our alcoholic here. <laughs> So, Alcoholism fits in well. It does, yeah. it absolutely. <laughs> so, with all of us, you know, it never really sat well, but with Rick, it ultimately didn't. And I think between that and the his workload, his brand new marriage as of Halloween, um, we met and he said that he just, he had to part ways. So, we lost both Rob and Rick, but... Everything on good terms, though. Oh, we, we, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, they, um, with my just most recent meeting with Rick, he said that he's going to wish us the best, help us along the way. Um, we've even talked about potential managing. And uh, with all the songs that you mentioned that are kicking ass on uh, social pro uh, platforms, they, you know, that's them as well. So they, you know, they're, they're forever going to be a part of what we, what we are. Brothers, man. Brothers in Arms, absolutely. Right on. Uh, as I mentioned, two of you are in another band. Of course, faithful viewers of the channel will recognize Bobby and RJ from Dirt Halo. Oh, yes. I, my nipples are still sore. Thank you very much. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> and and what, what some of you may not know is that RJ's sister and brother-in-law and dad are Crimson Riot, who has also been on the channel. So... That's why I understand uh, about the alcoholic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, just, it runs in the family, you know. So sore nipples and alcoholism. This is why it's over Zoom. There's nothing to do with COVID. It's sore nipples and alcoholism. Your turn. Yes. <laughs> Again. Seriously, though, alcoholism is seriously not a joke, especially at this time of year. Please, please get help if you need it. There are so many resources out there for you. Cheers to that. Cheers, cheers to that. Yeah, cheers yeah, to that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, if, if I can ask RJ to slightly slide that away, you're, there you go. Now you're in the shot. Hey, be part of it, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, <laughs> usually, 
Usually it's the bass player that likes to do that. They, they, they kind of slide off into the, you know, the, the side there. All right. So <laughs> uh, gen general question to, uh, to, to the band, really the half the band, half of you have kids like myself. And I just wanted to know, what do your kids think about dad trying to hold on to his youth? Wow, okay. <laughs> Damn. I'll, I'll take that because I got a grandson <laughs> also. Woo. Um, they love it. Um, when we play out of town, um, That's a great question. They, they actually travel to come see us play. Uh, my, my kids and my grandson are in Texas. So, you know, we just had a show in New Mexico just a year last, ago. about a year ago. That's so they amazing. traveled out. Check us out. They, they love it, man. Hold on to your youth, right? Yeah, it, it, I mean, yeah, trust me. I, why do you think I do this? <laughs> Especially with COVID, I'm like, well, I can't go out and, you know, have my ears hurt at the end of the night. So <laughs> I might as well do this, have fun. Um, and, and actually, that brings up a, a good uh, good question, Doug. So happy almost birthday, by the way. Oh, thanks, Gene. No worries. By the Wow. Research. Oh, good on you. <laughs> good on you, Mike. The technology. I did done a, I've done you know a couple that. of things, Doug. <laughs> um, and, you will. And, and, That's uh, the beauty of Facebook. Uh, it's going yeah. to tell you. when. You hey, thank God. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it basically, by the time this airs, it'll be almost your birthday. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is exactly, but I, I just that brings up a good point, because what's your secret to rocking over 50? Man. I'm 48, so you know, I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Um, a lot of failures in relationships, right? Uh, music is always my, my fallback. Always has been. Um, used to be music no, I mean, and drugs. I mean physically. I mean physically. The way you guys rock. <laughs> okay, so physically, well, you got you to gotta work out, man. You got to exercise, right? You got to eat right. I mean, gotta, look at this you gotta guy. You got to keep it going. This guy. Look at this guy. Look, look at that. Well, no, but you know what? It, it's easy to sit around and eat Big Macs all day. You know, oh, yeah, but I, I, <laughs> hey, lock it lifestyle, up. brother. How's that? L lifestyle, right? No pickles, no onions for me, please. <laughs> dad bobs. I always right? thought it was important to put on a, a presentation, a performance <laughs> on stage. Um, and to me, that that means staying in some kind of um, shape. Uh, two percent, so, right? Hey, round is a shape. Round is a shape. Cake is a shape. That's yes. true. <laughs> anyway, you some asked, kind of shape. I don't know. You asked. That's where I come from. So no, honestly, I, I just I, I started. I did the math, and I'm like, huh? He's like five years older than me, four years older than me. I'm about to be and, 53, man. Like I said, I got a grandson. Yeah. So yeah, five years older than me. I'm f I'm 48 and a half, and uh, I, I'm not <laughs> looking. Do that at age. <laughs> I thought seven year old. I'm actually out. not looking. Hey, hey, anything I could do to stave off 49. Ah, right? yeah. what I, what I've always said is I'm, I'm 39 until I'm 49, and then I'll be 49 until I'm 59. There you go. Yeah. I tell everybody I'm 10 uh, years older than myself. When people <laughs> ask, I do. But it's like, I, I know. Like, not, wait a minute, what's your birthday? Right, and it's like, how difficult is it for me to add 10 years to my <laughs> fucking year? That way you look like really good for you. Yeah, they're like, oh my god, you look fucking amazing for your age. I'm you like, fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I don't look good for my age? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> he didn't I need just messed up his <laughs> So, sticking with Doug real quick. You, by, by the way, yeah, you all look amazing for your ages. Old ass <laughs> self. Ages. Stop it. <laughs> I'm still growing. Anyway. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, his yeah. penis needs to grow a little more. Too. Ah, <laughs> yeah. man, tiny dick. Are you the youngest now in this room? Oh, yeah. 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 Like a lot. Right. No. Oh, yeah. He's a babe. Just a. RJ, RJ's a babe in the babe. woods. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, My teeth are still growing in. <laughs> he's. So, anyway, sticking with Doug. Was it weird to see that you died in 2000? Uh, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> was it weird to see your name as as dying in 2000? The bass player for Johnny Lang was also named Doug Nelson, and he died in an with accident. A, okay, with an N E L S E N or an O N, right? Uh, so I'm Norwegian, not yeah. Dutch. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Ian, totally different person. Norwegian. I, not let me Dutch. put it this way: those guys. 
I honestly, <laughs> it's true. I am. Honestly, I figured you would have seen it and been like, "Well, that's weird." But uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I see I, that. I, <laughs> well, when I I, lo- I looked up some information on you, typing your name in as it is on on the website on the Facebook page, okay. and uh, and it said dead in <laughs> two thousand. Please third to Johnny that's Lang, awesome. and I'm like. <laughs> I did do a yeah. lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks this is like. But all. I survived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if, we're, what if we're all just all in his head? Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. What, we're, what if we're all just in his head? I know. This is that last He's moment sitting before in a, he in a, like a fucking coma in a hospital somewhere, <laughs> or, or or rock and roll my heaven, and I'm just living it out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot. This better. This is your heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, this, sorry, this is what flashes through your eyes at the end, last moment. <laughs> I'm honored. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, Doug, yep. as, as 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 the oldest one there, would you say you're the mature one in the band? <sighs> probably not. I would say honestly, I'd say Bobby probably is. Really? What? Yeah. <laughs> Being, and, and I'm I have, not saying I have pictures that would like prove otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way that he handles his business, right? And handles so our like, business. He handles my business yeah. all the time. <laughs> well, we're not going to get into that. That's personal. <laughs> so, um, moving on. I'm I'm leaving you two for last because you've been on the channel before. That's so. Fair, uh, fair. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm I'm jumping over to Stace. Is it is it Waggle or Waggle? Waggle, yes, sir. Okay, Waggle. Little, little uh, waggle. Waggle, waggle. First of all, first of all, how's the foot? Dude, uh, I'm walking. That's about as good as it gets. I see. I see you standing there, so that's good. Yeah, like a kind of like a. So my son calls me um, uh, a flamingo. Because I stand often with my foot elevated, like behind me, so I'm constantly standing yeah. one-footed. Um, even now, like I'm still on the major, everything is on my right foot, while the left one just kind of hangs where you know. I'm guessing with right when on. the mohawk was pink, that didn't help the situation. You know, so that's <laughs> what. So there was a thing that happened. Uh, there was a. a a meme or something on Facebook is like, if someone were to give you a nickname, what would it be? And I've had a lot over yeah. the years, of course. And my, and yeah, it came as like, you know, Stace Flamingo. I'm like, Oof. that's, that's all. But it was also October. So my hair, my mohawk was pink. So I had pink hair. I stand with my freaking leg <laughs> popped up. And I'm like, oh, you little bitch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. But um, no, I'm walking around. It, um, you know, I'm not jumping off of, uh, I'm not doing any parkour or anything. And, uh, parkour. but you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, yeah, right on. I'm doing, yeah. Yeah. well, you're not in a wheelchair. You're not in crutches. So right on. Right. Right. I couldn't find anything. What, what the heck happened? Did you fall off stage? Did you pull a Dave Grohl? What? I, I wish it were that cool. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, uh, it was a car accident. I was, mm. uh, <laughs> I guess the cool part was I was in my car, which was a Dodge Viper, and I was basically murdered by a red shitty Kia. They uh, pit maneuvered me, and I slid into a light pole, and spent two weeks in the hospital with five surgeries. And Yeesh. yeah, they had to use the jaws of life to get them out. They did. See that's the cool part. <laughs> that's <laughs> didn't even. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought my so car was cool. a cool part, but yeah, I guess all in all, <laughs> my foot was sheared off. They had to. <laughs> Looked when, like a lobster claw. When they pulled me out of the car, two guys under my shoulders, you know, they, they grabbed me under my armpits and pulled me out. But they had to stop while another person came and grabbed my foot. And then they, the three of them carried me to uh, the ambulance. Wow. Yeah. So. Hey, whatever doesn't kill you, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, back to Doug. I know you're, you're from Petaluma originally, right? Yeah, that's where I grew up. Why the hell would you move to Las Vegas from beautiful Petaluma? All right. Well, I, I joined the military out of Petaluma. Ah. Uh, served eight, eight years. Served in the Gulf War. Thank you War, for your service. Right? And um, when I got out, um, the military kind of dropped me off in El Paso, Texas. And uh, <laughs> hung out there for a while. And the company that I was working for post-military um, moved out here. And they brought me with them. And that was in uh, late 99. And I've been here ever since. So. Right on. Well, El, pa- El Paso to Vegas isn't that much of a difference, I guess. All right. 
Back to Stace. So, Stace, you, you moved to Vegas from the Gulf via Terre Haute and um, Clinton, right? In Indiana? I have yeah. lived a lot of places. Yeah, I, I moved here from the Gulf. I've actually been moved and came back uh, twice. Rambling, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have a quick question for you about Indiana, though. Number one. Okay. You ever been to Gary? <laughs> yeah, I've been to Gary. Passing through. You no survived. One, All right, cool. Yeah, no, no one ever goes to Gary to go to Gary. No, another question about Indiana. Have you ever been to Bloomington? You know, uh, that's you? actually not far from my growing up and work. I've actually worked in Bloomington. Yeah, no, I've, I've been in Bloomington. I miss Mother Bears. I miss Yogi's. <laughs> and, um, I miss. I miss being able to walk to drink, like drink and then walk home. Nice, nice. Yeah, but uh, I that state has some interesting city names like Floyd's Knobs. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with that one, but it does have some interesting knobs. Nah, really? Knob, Santa Claus, Indiana. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, all right. And you you mentioned pit a uh, pit maneuver earlier, which leads me into, of course, you're, you're the general manager for Police yes, Chase sir. here in town. It's ironic, right? <laughs> yes. Tell me about yes. it. A yeah. little too, I think. Um, and and I, I so, I, so I, I checked that out, of course. And I said, at first, I was like, "Who the hell wants to pretend to be chased by the cops?" But I didn't realize it was you could be right. play either part of it. Well, who doesn't want to run from the cops when you're like shit? When you're getting pulled over, everybody's like, "You want to go?" But you can't. yeah, and that's that's the other thing is I, I realized I was like, "Wait a minute!" To legally put your foot down when they, when you hear the siren, be like, "Nope." Yeah. So is that out at the the um, Vegas Speed or where is that Speed Vegas? I mean, it was. Uh, it was at Speedway. Yeah, the Las Vegas Motor. Yeah, the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It, it's unfortunately like every single experience excursion any, shut down. It's down. So uh, right now yeah. we are working on. Well, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to be six feet apart in a car, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, day luck, we'll be getting smelly, sweaty hugs at shows <laughs> again. <soon. laughs> I'm so so excited! <laughs> Can't wait for that. <laughs> sweat on me, sweat. <laughs> anyway, um, one last thing before we move on to the the you know laughing the twins. There, um, are you still doing the? I mean, I realize now your your party like a rock star company kind of can't right now, right? Nothing is happening. Zero. Yeah. What was that? Was a, that's a DJ and karaoke company in the Gulf? It, it was. It's uh, actually it was an entertainment company which we did. Which down there, karaoke was like crack. So <laughs> it spread everywhere and it worked out really well. But we did a lot more. Moving on. I, I dug up some new dirt on you boys. <laughs> First of all, RJ, congratulations uh, on your engagement. Although I think you were engaged before. How, when did that happen? That was, uh, I've been was engaged that last time? Uh, I was engaged in yeah. 2017. So RJ, I didn't realize you were from Vesalia. Uh, yeah, I was born there and I uh, moved here when I was about three, four. So... Home of the Button Convention. That is correct. <laughs> I've been there. I've been to one. My ex-wife used to. We used to make jewelry. And, and, uh, <laughs> it's oh, that's a good one. Time of life. Uh, Fucking dragons and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear the name Vesalia, it sounds like I'm going on a quest to Vesalia. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. No, that's funny. I mentioned dragons, but it's not Perfect. as cool. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not as cool. Like. <laughs> Right. I also didn't know you you were or you are the drummer for the Nocturnal Affair. Uh, was yeah, I went on tour with them uh, with the Six and Nine Eyes uh, last last year. They've also been yeah, on the show. Two years, two years, last year. I don't know. Yeah, this the whole year is gone, but it's been two. Years. Okay, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So I went on, I went on tour with them, and uh, we kind of parted ways after the tour. Yeah, I, it was just. Uh, by the way, your your website. And all your Facebook pages probably need to be updated. There's some information on there that's old. Ah, okay. That makes sense. On our, Especially ours, yes. I've affair. been doing it a couple of days. We've got a lot to update. Which fan? We've got a lot happened recently. He said y'all. What interview are we doing right now, Bobby? <laughs> 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 okay, making right. sure. Yes. <laughs> it does. Yes. I don't know. You're correct. We absolutely do. Oh, I've been nice. doing that over the past couple of days. Uh, yeah. And uh, our, so, Raceland. 
Are you still mad at your dad for naming you after a fantasy book? Oh. Um, no, I've, I've come to terms with that. Uh, a couple, you know, hours of therapy, uh, a few bottles of whiskey. <laughs> I'm, I'm over it. I contributed. Yeah, yeah. Do, do do the rest of the guys in this band know that your favorite music is punk and ska? Um, they do not know I, that. I'd know that, but... Well, you know that. You probably know that. I had no idea. I don't know where you found that information, but... <laughs> 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 Fucking MySpace, man! Honestly? <laughs> Your about page on Facebook. You put it in there, buddy. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, Scott. That was a long time ago. Uh, 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 yeah. That, I, I know. I was looking at it going like, I could see, you know, like, Roxy. <laughs> but Oh, yeah. No, I love Scott music. Scott. Yeah, Mad Caddies and, like, who? Mad Caddies. Right on. Um, how? I I know this this was meant as a joke, but your favorite sport is marching band. Um, that's a sport, damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I did marching band in high school. Okay, that's why I'm so good. You lettered. Of course you, you did. lettered in it. You yeah. did, didn't you? Absolutely. That's why it's a sport. I had a, I had a letterman jacket. Yeah. No did. fuck yeah, man. Yeah. You're varsity drummer. Yeah. That's why he has tree trunk legs. That thing's a thing. Also, I know. I I commented when he came in. Like, see him look down there. Look at these fucking things. Look at these things. Oh. They're seriously no joke. He he's like at the cusp of not being able to wear skinny jeans anymore. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. No, I, yeah, he's, yeah. He's a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Mr. Bobby Santos. Shit. So you're, you're the front man for Dirt Halo. And in this band, you're, you're stepping away from being the front man to being basically a guitarist and backup vocals, right? Yeah. Is that a, a nice break for you? Yeah, actually, honestly, it is. Uh, sometimes yeah. it's yeah. nice to just step back and... I, I still write a lot, but uh, it is nice to like step away and like have someone else do the front man stuff. Incidentally, Bobby actually has a YouTube channel, uh, link is here somewhere, with uh, acoustic covers that he plays. And it's a really nice counterpoint to all the what he does in these two bands. It's really nice. You should check it out. So uh, tell me about Denver, North Carolina. Uh, what do you want to know? I mean, it's pretty... Uh, is that where you got the nickname Squid? That oh, Wow, you did do some research. <laughs> when was his first kiss, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. That, research. That is where I got the nickname Squid, yeah. Picture this. Picture this. Sicily, 1933. Golden <laughs> nice. Girls, anybody? Golden Girls? 1922. Yes. I was a young college girl. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, I seriously want to know, where does the name Squid come from? What is that? What kind of nickname is Squid? I grew up with a group that had a nickname for Squid, so I'm curious what your Squid is. <laughs> it's dumb. It has everything to do with the tattoo on my stomach. So, yeah, hold on. I'll show us. Show us. <laughs> show us. <laughs> show it. Is that true? Um, so, I, she, I'm pretty sure this is the first time her, she even heard this story. No. <laughs> but, um, so I was living at the time with one of my friends in this trailer. We had a basketball hoop out front. We played shirt and skins, and I was skins. A lot more fit at the time, mind you. <laughs> and then... 2020 hasn't been good to you? Oh, man, the alcohol, it just fucking... Went straight <laughs> to my fucking stomach. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, no, I was playing and one of my really close friends, I like did a jump shot and my stomach was right there. I have an octopus on my side, a very shitty one, <laughs> mind you. And he I goes mean, squid. Okay, yeah, hold on, hold on. So he goes, he goes, squid! And then as soon as I like got down, he goes, I'm gonna call you big squid. And I was like, it's an octopus. He goes, well, it's better than calling you Big Puss. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Touche. So then after that, the big, the big part ended up like <laughs> dropping and everyone called me Squid. <laughs> so that's where that came from. I'm calling him Big Puss for now. <laughs> <laughs> from now on. Yes. Now we know. When I see you in public, you are Big Puss to me. <laughs> I've heard this story like eight times. and I've never heard any of this. I've always told me. I never really felt the urge until now. 
Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe it's MG in the room. Yeah, you're you're squid from now on. All right, well, no, now, yeah, no, I'll you're a big puss. puss. Big yeah. puss. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. Thanks, Josh. Big puss. Ah. Big puss in. I think he they like the big puss. Yeah, big I think puss they like the big puss yeah. thing. All right. Yeah. How long have you all lived in Vegas individually? All right, I got here um, late 99, basically 2000. It's 20 years. I beat you somehow. Man, that's a long oh. time, right? Yeah, that's a long time. Damn, yeah. 22 yeah. for me. You crawled all the way here. <laughs> <laughs> Uphill, both ways. I think <laughs> uh, six, yeah, six-ish. I haven't really done the math. We got it about here at the same time. Yeah, I think, I think six, yeah, because we were actually in a band together, a potential something-ish yeah. band together. When something I first that you here. don't know. Ah, yeah. You didn't do your research. Uh, Mr. So. Research. <laughs> he was actually in the band that I was in when I first got to Vegas. Yeah. He was the same you were band. already part of. Yeah, I, I was already part of. Yeah. What band was that? It was a band called EMI. <laughs> yep. Remember You're that? right. I, I didn't know that because you didn't put it up anywhere. Well, because no one yeah. cares. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares. Not yeah. a big hit. But yeah, no. I, I, well, we never. Stays. Stays. I, I care. I care. Stays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. Uh, the Empire cares. Do you, do you need us to walk so away for a win. second? To yeah. win. It'll just be you oh, and Josh no. for a second. Oh, please. Anybody who's seen the Dirt Halo interview knows you wouldn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, so how long have you been? Well, I, I, I know roughly how long you've been this lineup of Words of Weapons, but... When did Words as Weapons start, and where did the name come from? So, Words as Weapons actually started be as a, a name change because I'll be honest, I I'm not I'm not going to call them out, but the name was decided from the from the group, not my vote. I was outvoted, so I accepted. It was actually called Venus Green. What? It was called Venus Green. I why I. <laughs> <laughs> that okay same yes right yes so we actually did a, a recording of put me back in the ring that was our very first song that we ever recorded <clears throat> even under the name venus green i it never sat well but throughout uh, the time i finally came to where I, we agreed to pick a new band name and I came up with Words as Weapons, and we recorded with Sean a new version of Put Me Back in the Ring that is what you guys know now. Um, it, it literally takes away an entire verse, it changes the tempo, and it makes it what it is. Like, Sean literally, he put a lot of magic on that song. Um, I actually didn't even know that. Yeah. So yeah, we started as Venus Green, and then I I knew that part. I don't know. I just I guess I I don't know if I just nagged enough, or I, I literally I don't know what happened. But we we did get rid of that to uh, bring about words as weapons. But the guy that that wanted Venus Green when I said words as weapons, he was yes that that is perfect. That is everything. And everyone was like, yeah, no, he's kind of right. So it changed right then, even from the guy that picked Venus Green as the name. So that's uh, that's where Words as Weapons comes from, from that. But I right thought on. it come from right a, a good standpoint as it, it fits from a, like a bullying side. We've all been through bad shit. And uh, I don't know if anybody else is like a fighter or whatnot. Like I grew up with my name, so I grew up fighting my entire life. <laughs> But words from coming from people can suck ass. You know, they, they talk a lot of crap. So um, words are weapons. So I thought that that, you know, words are weapons as a name or words as weapons. You know, and I, I tossed it around and I brought that to, uh, to the group asking words as, words are, and words as was, was where it happened. No, I, I think it works actually. As soon as... Um... I think it was Bobby posted something about, you know, this is the band I, I, I'm in now with Words as Weapons. I was like, that's that's a good name. Uh, you know, there's there's at least one other band with that name out there, of course. Uh, well, not legally there isn't. Let me rephrase it. 
sorry, if you look up words as weapons and the word band, you guys come up, but then uh, some other bands with a, a song called words as weapons. Yeah, Cedar. Oh, <laughs> Cedar. Yeah, which nobody could be bigger than Cedar. <laughs> Nicely played, sir. <laughs> Yeah, no, Seether, yeah, Seether is as big as it, which is yeah. this man's favorite band ever. I like them too. Yeah. You know what, yeah, no, you know I, what they, I, I, they I, did I, a really good Seether. cover, yeah. you know what Seether did? Seether did a really good cover of Safety Dance. No, they did a cover of Careless Whispers. Faithful viewers will, faithful viewers will know that uh, Joey Hines, who's been on the channel twice, has feelings about Seether. He wrote a song about, you know, I love you, but I, but I don't love Seether. Oh, wow, really? Wow. I don't know who that is. It's not that they suck. Okay, they suck. But no. Uh, <laughs> That's his lyrics, not mine. All right. Anyway. Well, I guess me and him were meant to be friends. I don't know who he is. But, man, we got beef Joey now. Hines? We got beef. I don't know. Oh, um, you know what? You, you'd like Joey Hines. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll show you why. Okay. Do you know why you'd like Joey Hines? Yeah. Because Joey Hines puts out band merch like this. <laughs> That's great. I, you know what? So I mean, that's smart, smart marketing. Are those like directions? Are like, Ooh, Ooh, dude, it's that? hilarious <laughs> to see like. Are those directions? Like, what's that? You see a room. You, you see like ten people wearing that shirt at one of his gigs, and he's playing up there playing acoustic guitar. People are like, "No, it's smart." Is he getting a protest? Yeah, what the no, hell? They're gonna look it up. Yeah, no, no it's, it's smart marketing. I know you guys haven't. Have you done any actual live shows as words? Yes, you have. You've done live shows as words as weapons, right? Oh yeah, yep. yeah. Our very first. Show. Well, I mean, it depends on who you're asking. Not with me. Yeah, <laughs> it depends on who you're asking. Um, we've done a few. Uh, the very, well, very we've done first show was the yeah, Corey no, Taylor. Yeah, benefit we've show. done several, but yeah, our very first was with Corey Taylor uh, for that benefit show downtown Las Vegas. Um, wow, well, I wasn't part of that. Yeah, Bobby wasn't Back. part of that yet. Um, but then, I mean, we've had several. We've we've done uh, several uh, vamped. Uh, which part of that. Bobby was part of, or Bobby wasn't part of, and then he was part of the sh like the night, but not part of the um, the show. But we were or not part of us. I You're think. confusing people. But <laughs> we did, me. yeah, we didn't even traveled out of state. Uh, we you guys did the sword fighting fucking thing, right? Yeah, the metal melee. melee. Yeah, that's right, metal melee. Okay, then let me let me narrow down the question I'm trying to ask here. Um, Bobby and RJ, you haven't done any live shows I've with Words as Weapon, he right? Has. Yeah, I have not. You have, done. okay. Brain RJ, you have like, Okay, you're out. Anyway. I've had like two practices. Yeah, two One practices. Weeks. I don't know. Like, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a brand new voted member, so, man, nobody's doing anything. So. I'm a virgin. <laughs> right on. Okay, then, really, this question goes. So we, really, this question goes to. We've done, shows, we've done shows with Dirt Halo with RJ. So. Yeah, but not yet. Yeah, right. Not in the band. But to answer your question, yeah. no, sir. They have not. We have not played all the live life together, together with oh. this band. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So this this question this question goes to basically the three of you who have done shows as words as weapons. What is your favorite show memory? And it could be good, could be bad. <laughs> okay. I don't so even I <laughs> my favorite memory is the New Mexico show because of something Ugh. me and Doug both experienced. Oh, and it was the, the there was a bee following both me and him on stage <laughs> the whole fucking time, and I, it was pissing me off. I'm a, I'm like deathly allergic to bees, so I'm sitting there like ah, get the fuck away, like. And then I look over at Doug, and he's kind of like slyly doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like my favorite memory. Right on the bed board, yeah, man. that's my favorite memory. <laughs> that's great. Nice. I remember hating that show. Stace or Doug, do you have a better one than that? Or a worse one than that? Well, that one in particular, even, I, we, we had to wait hours just to be able to set up our equipment when we were supposed to have a sound check. We never got it because the headline for that night took the entire day. Sounds familiar. So we were setting up our equipment for that show. And I, I mean... I, I, I dress up like for everything, anything that I, 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 I get out there and it's all about, you're it's a like, rock star. I'm yeah. not, no, I'm not a great singer. He had I just banana pretend that I could put on a show. <laughs> so I didn't get to. So what sucks is we get our shit out there and they're like, all right, you guys are up in five minutes. I'm wearing 
yeah, shorts. So I'm sweating my ass off. I like it was just gross. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? I am not going, like, I played, like, I tried to be a diva. I'm like, I'm not going out there with, and nobody heard me. Nobody cared. But <laughs> No, they didn't give a shit. But, yeah, because this no-name band that was the headliner of this fucking thing. So I had to go out there, <laughs> sing this shit wearing god-ass whatever. I'm the only one. Everybody got to wear your shit. Except me. What are you talking about? I wore jeans and a t-shirt. That's all. What's that? What you always wear? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but me, I, like I don't. Golden, I, I don't. Like, I, I had a, I had a rough day. I had to walk down to the fucking Dollar General for cough drops, and I, I, I literally, like, I went out there. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I, 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 I put like four cough drops in the sides of my mouth like a chipmunk, and I'm like, let's fucking do this. And one in his ass. And one in his ass. What was cool? Um. It was it was dead. It was super dead. But every single person that was there, mm-hmm. to include the people that in were in the alcohol tent, in the alcohol tent, yeah, there was an alcohol tent. <laughs> but all of the people that were there came to us after, and they were like, "Holy shit, guys! Like this is wow! Like man, I'm like, oh, okay, well, this is cool now." Wow, people like this? I didn't have to dress like, okay, this is, what? And then I got drunk and entered a bikini contest. Oh. No, I, I, I've seen <laughs> he, he actually would have I placed, saw pictures of that. He would have placed yeah. third, but he got disqualified for twerking. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apparently dancing is not allowed <laughs> in bikini contests. <laughs> but I think we did make the paper. But those that, right? bitches. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Can you prove we it? We made the New Mexico twerking? paper for that. <laughs> uh, let's talk gear. I realize you're not playing live right now, but if you can briefly... Talk about the gear you're rocking when you're on stage. Um, I know that RJ and Bobby, you, you went into what you use with Dirt Halo. Is it pretty much the same layout for this band? Uh, no. Actually, the the dream gear that I told you that one time, that amp, uh, I play through that now. Hey, look at you. Yeah. Moving up in the world. Mine's pretty much the same. I, I got a new China symbol because I broke mine during the recording of Obey. But, you know, that's... As you do. As I do, yeah, because I'm right beating on. the shit out of that thing. So. Yep. Um, Stace, don't take this the wrong way when I say this, but you're just singing, right? Yes, sir. As far as now. What, yes. are, you, what are you singing through when you when you perform? Uh, uh, line 6 wireless mic. Nice. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah, so Line 6... Uh, uh, Typical singer, he just walks on stage. It makes me louder. No, I'm that, uh, actually, you know, so the whole deal is that uh, Rick hooked me up with his, uh, you know, Rick, Rick's, a, Rick's an awesome guy. So I, I bought the mic um, through Rick, uh, or through Rick's um, hookup, I suppose. But yeah, no, it's a Line 6 uh, wireless mic. Right on. Um, aside from wireless mark, mic, did you have a preference before that, like Behringer or Sure 58 or? So. At home, I have about 14 <laughs> uh, Sure 58s. No, but but I mean, for, for performing live. Uh, What's your preference? Like, are you, you, nah. you, you strictly want wireless mic. Totally. I, I, that's, that's the thing, is that I do, I want the wireless, the wireless. Yeah, so I have also done uh, the, the Sennheiser. I have a Sennheiser mic as well. Uh, wireless. Good company. But that mm-hmm. that is where, that, that's kind of where I need it more than... Especially with live, because on in all seriousness, we're kind of nobodies. So I don't need to be like perfected on something where now nah, I'll take my wireless so I can move across the stage. And uh, right, cool. All right, and Doug, what are you rocking when you rock out? So um, my workhorse is a Fender P bass. I use Elixir strings, and my amplification is various Fender products. Various Fender. Yep. Really? That was a very yeah. professional answer. No hard, yes, no, no hard key. We're not sponsored by them at all. No Ampeg. Anywhere Various from a, Fender products. Anywhere from a, a bass band to a um, a Ramble. Right on. I I can't remember last time somebody said that they used Fender bass amps, so that's yeah, awesome, I, actually. I, I, you know, I'm old really school. I'm an older guy. Oh, I keep beast. it old school, man. Uh, you cannot go wrong, right? Trust, trust me. No school like the old school. Um, 
I have a half stack I haven't played through in years. Thank you for various reasons. But uh, I have a, a Marshall Lead MOSFET 100 amp going through a, a you know four cabs. Four cabs. I mean, four, a, four speaker cab. One cab with four speakers. Sorry, <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My neighbors yeah. hate me. Just back to the 80s. <laughs> just in his house with four fucking. <laughs> And I just play Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy from Ren and Stimpy all day long. Great show. I remember that one. Yes. Yeah. Huh? I'm old enough for that. I am too surprised. I, I understood that reference. <laughs> all right. Last question. You made it. Yay. So, and you, you guys, you, you two guys probably know what this last question is going to be, but um, let's pretend you played a show and to, to people and... <laughs> And someone comes up, some new musician comes up, says, how do I be like you? What, what's the one piece of advice that you wish someone had given you when you started out in music? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't. I, think I, said, I think I literally said the, la the same thing last time. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> um, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, you my, did. My, yeah, I know I did. Um, my opinion is honestly work on your songwriting, work on your craft, that's what comes first. Um, you're not going to get anywhere without it. Songwriting, guitar skills, vocals, anything, you know, work on your craft first. Love your craft, love what you do, and then work on the other stuff afterwards. Don't be a drummer, it sucks. There's lots of equipment to load in. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> and load out. And your bandmates no. won't help you. No. <laughs> I don't. Fuck that guy. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, the, the singer never wants yeah, to help with the drums, well, he right? Does. I always do. He actually does. Well, I'm the shitty one. I'm the shitty one. <laughs> and I, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I always do too. I always do too, even when it's not my gig, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. I, thank you. Yeah, my voice, sorry, my, my sorry. voice, all that is I, just don't stop. I had to go fishing. You're fishing here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what was that, Stace? No, I was saying, like, my advice to, to anybody that wants to to perform to go any further is just don't stop you know it's like the lyrics yeah. that put me back in the ring it's everyone well and unfortunately it's not everyone because some people are born and blessed with money or the talent enough to where they're just they're going to make it because somebody is so big that it's that but connections yeah that's it but don't stop if that's what you want to do, then don't, don't, don't stop. Yep. Continue going. If you want to serve tables, if you're going to work on cars, if you're going to uh, do anything in life, if that's what you want to do, if you want to be a musician, if you want whatever, don't stop. Just do it. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to make that time. Don't stop. I would say. Uh, I agree. I would say don't limit yourself. Don't limit yeah. yourself to one instrument. Don't limit yourself to one genre. Uh, explore it all. Find your yourself in your own music, right? And become something <clears throat> unique that can inspire other people. I agree with, especially with Stace and with Doug. Don't limit yourself. Don't think I I I don't know how to. You know, I can never be this. I used to think I could never be a drummer. I could never get all my four limbs to operate independently. But then something clicked because I kept practicing. And I kept taking lessons with my drummer, Sean Flume. And, uh, but also, don't stop. I, I like to think that any creative thing, really, but anything that you feel any sort of, like that's the thing you do after work, after you're done taking care of the kids or after dinner, or, you know, that thing you carve out time for, don't stop. It's like, it, to me, it's like working out. It, the, the, those buff old guys, those, like Arnold and, and Stallone, they just never stopped. That's why, you know, it's not so it's not so amazing that they're ripped at that age. It's it's amazing because they never stopped, you know. And 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 you yes, know, you gotta and, do it because you love it, man. Know, there's gotta be a passion there. There does have to be a passion. And there's always someone better right. than you. Don't don't get discouraged from that. There's right. it's the always thing. yeah. That's learn from it. You know, there's always someone better. Yeah. yeah. And trust me, from a, as a YouTuber and, and now I'm a TikToker, it that all again, like all you can do is try to 
emulate and, and make it your own. And, and, you know, all music is thievery. We know that. So you just try to carve out your own little niche in it. But, you know, with that, there's literally nothing new in music that, that is pleasing to the ear. That's it. Yeah, so I'm saying mathematically, you're screwed. Yeah. Except yeah. for Cardi B. No one's done that yet. Oh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh, trust me. Plenty of people have done Cardi B, R- RJ. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Are you sad about that? <laughs> He's like, no, That's you're like you sad about it. <laughs> Doug, you're, 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 trust me, you're, you're better off. You're better off. I still have that. Anyway. Guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. That's all I got. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do do a quick outro to the to the fans here. And do, real, before anything else, do you have anything to tell the fans? Any juicy piece of not, you know news that's coming down the pipe or anything? Any new song getting released? 2021. Yeah. All we can say is that this is us now, and 2021 is happening. Works are in order, and we got new songs coming. This is you. We're just working on... You're a part of it. All of you, this is us. What studio we're going to do it in. Right on. In that case, I'm going to say here's to you guys. Clink! Thank you, sir. Hey, seriously. And thank you for coming on the show. And thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Words as Weapon, there's links down below. If you'd like to check out more videos like this, definitely click up here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. Click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. Um, Remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say bye, guys. Right on, man. Hey. See you guys. Later! Ba-da-ba-ba-da-bum.